Hi, this is Daniel Oppenheimer. Uh, in this month's issue of The Alcalde, I wrote a profile of psychologist Frank Richardson, who has really become one of the fiercest internal critics of the discipline of psychology. In, in this excerpt from the interview that I did with Frank, he talks about his beginnings in the field as a fairly orthodox behaviorist psychologist, and then he talks about his gradual disillusionment and how it led him to where he is today. So here's the clip. Did you have a conception of yourself at the, in the, during that time as a a searcher, a sort of uh, kind of on Absolutely. some quest? Absolutely. I always saw myself as a searcher or a seeker. And uh, psychology was a great medium for that, for obvious reasons. It can be very fascinating. But uh, it uh, didn't deliver as much as it promised. We were all of us, I think, quite utopian uh, in those days about what we could learn, what we could know, what we could re-engineer and what we could accomplish with individuals and groups and maybe even the wider society. And uh, it's been a long, slow period of sobering discouragement for many people in the field. So, meaning you genuinely felt at some point, maybe earlier on in, in your career, as though you were working towards some fundamental understanding of the human psyche that would enable a kind of uh, enable us to, to know how to, how to engineer society for the better. Yeah, individuals and society. Not make things perfect, just make them a whole lot better. And you don't believe that anymore? Uh, only to a very limited degree. I think our focus is too narrow. We don't, um, we don't raise a lot of the interesting tough questions about suffering and evil, about um, coming to terms with life's dark side and limitations. And for that matter, we don't pay close attention to a lot of the uh, deep kinds of uh, emotional and spiritual joys that many people experience. We're, we're, much, we're not likely to do a lot of research on that. There are many exceptions, of course. And we don't pay enough attention to the ethical struggles that people have trying to figure out what it means to be a good person and how to live a good and decent life. We like to look at functioning in more instrumental or practical terms. We don't like to talk about the, uh, uh, the, the wider ethical and philosophical and spiritual meanings that uh, all of us think about and worry when we take our psych social psychology or our counseling psychology hats off and go home at night and try to figure out what the heck is going on in this world.